Welcome in, folks. You probably heard that motor car sitting here in my home studio and uh, enjoying the summer early evening breeze coming on in. Welcome to another IPC that stands for I Pain Creatures Worldwide Broadcast. Like to introduce you to all the new platforms, especially Popology, the science of Poplar. Uh, which is, is coming across here and uh, I'm doing the famous Hayeo Yagyo and that's the night parade of a hundred demons but I've switched it up in my world and it's the night pa- parade of several uh, yokai from the story of Matsu and uh, we have one of the dub bears up top dancing we have a Roko Kurokubi yokai we have Echo back there he's a Yamabiko and then we have a, a blue tatsu and a few other. We have a ho ho, which is uh, in yokai folklore is a Japanese phoenix, but it can, uh, you know, uh, birth again out of water and air and wind and all different elements, rainbows and not just fire. And I had a great time painting this. Uh, I try to keep painting these because I got inspired by Shigeru Mizuki. Look him up if you don't know who that is. He's the grandfather of manga and an expert in yokai. And he's not with us anymore, but uh, he went back and did a lot of the 1600 paintings, and I do that a lot too. And so this is uh, one I did, and uh, originally I was going to do it for the studio and uh, dragged it out there to an art fair and put it up, and someone's like, I need that painting. So uh, this is displayed on someone's wall. Uh, I don't know exactly where they live, but uh, they got it. So uh, this is the last remembrance of it. So uh, it's all done in acrylics on a panel board. So I like to explore a quote. Got a few minutes here before the video ends. Let's explore a Joseph Campbell quote. Art is the clothing of revelation. And for those you don't know what revelation is, it's a surprising and previously unknown fact, especially one that is made known in a dramatic way. And so I've always loved the performing arts and theater and the way to go, you know, into the psyche and the more abstract places of the life called the mystery and uh, do the arts and express it. And I really have experiences over and over and all the experiences since a kid all the way to now to being a a performance artist is uh, definitely when you put the art out there it is the clothing of the revelation because right is one underneath is it's a lot of surprising things that even happen in this painting you know I have a, a lot of expectations of the painting but I also just go with the flow and um, know my color theory really well and so I know how to make the things pop and what goes there and, and that's where the revelations come in because uh, the ability to uh, you know create fantastical things that uh, you know most of us grew up just looking at especially in popular media and if you're in the age of the internet and you saw all these fabulous images especially of uh, you know folklore creatures and characters cartoons and animations and so to be able to uh, do it with natural medium and paint it because, you know, of course, a lot of the big animation comes in the beginning from Disney to Hanna-Barbera to, you know, uh, Looney Tunes, you know, they, they came up pretty uh, high level. They set the bar for, uh, you know, uh, illustrated uh, characters and, and creatures from your imagination. So it, it definitely is a revelation to uh, put yourself out there and, you uh, I can remember uh, just thinking about this, uh, looking at a lot of uh, old uh, woodprint artists that did a lot of the Haiga Yu-Gi-Oh paintings, and I was like, wow, let me give it a shot. So art is the clothing of revelation. Uh, check out Joseph Campbell. If you don't know who he is, he's the world mythologist, and uh, he is the number one source for all my art and inspiration and grounding it in the big, long lineage and all the shoulders that I humbly sit on to do this fantastical art. So thank you for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you real, real soon. Make sure you tell all your friends about uh, the channel if you enjoy these videos. You see they were 
benefit anyone in creativity and exploring and just just having a fun time seeing the art and i'm gonna start putting more links down below and announcing all the funky eye puppet stuff because all the people that watch this channel i think you'll very much enjoy coming and hanging out with us and uh we have a lot of interactive activities that you're just not a passive and we're gonna do what i call edutainment Ed, you know entertainment education all in the same thing and, and get you involved and uh do this thing that i did at lucasfilm which i'm very passionate about and exploring all the new avenues to, which is multi-platform storytelling and interactive storytelling so once again peace blessing have a great day fantastic week get out there take everything that's way down and deep inside you put it on paper first and then you know realize it and uh jump in the water get going you know activate that creative act thank you very much peace